Hi, and welcome to the We Are Investing channel, a channel that's dedicated in investing and personal finance. On today's video, we're going to talk about the top five stocks to buy right now, in my personal opinion, and I'm not telling you what to do. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Now, real quick, two things before we proceed into the video. First, consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, and smashing, smash, smash, smash that like button. Second thing, it is the weekend. Today is Saturday, so we're going to incorporate a beer review for today's video. Yes, beer. Now today, I am sipping on a Lagunitas Hazy Wonder IPA with an ABV of 6%. Check out the can work, it's pretty dope. Now check out the beer, it's dope as well. Hopefully it tastes pretty good, let's give it a taste. Man, raise your glass to the weekend. This is a good hazy IPA. I'm ready to start the video. Let's go. Now, this week was a fantastic week in the stock market. If you did not make money this week, then you need to reevaluate your strategies. In the swing trading account, we are up $20,371.03 just for this week alone. And if you look at the stocks that we're trading, you can see that they're pretty much all winners except for one, which is CVS. However, I am bullish on CVS. I would consider this a little bit of a longer swing trade, so I'm going to be holding on to those shares. Now, if you look at the winners, there are a couple stocks that we already touched on on prior videos. The first one being NEO. The total trade for NEO, we made $7,551 because that trade expanded into last week. Now, if you're interested in finding out what I did in NEO, I already made a video on it and you can check it out for yourself. I will provide a link in the video description down below. Another swing trade that we're in that we made a prior video on is Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol SPCE. Now, I'm still holding shares in Virgin Galactic, but I'm planning to unload in the upcoming week. Right now, we're up $3,750 on that swing trade alone. Also, I will provide a link to the video that I made prior in the video description down below as well. Now, something to keep in mind, I do have a Patreon page where I post right when I make any trade or investment, and you're notified pretty much instantly after I make that trade. So if that interests you, then definitely check out the Patreon page, and link is provided down below as well. Now, two other trades that were mentioned in last week's video for the top stocks to buy include DocuSign, which we are up $4,794 since we entered into this trade. I am still holding shares here. I'm probably going to continue to hold until I see this stock become bearish. And right now it is on a bull run. It's one of the best performers in the tech industry. Another stock that we bought last week is Alibaba, ticker symbol B-A-B-A. -B -A. Now this stock actually headed south when we opened up the trade. We added a little bit more to the position, but Alibaba I think is a gem right now. To have a company of this caliber drop the way it did, I was an instant buyer. I think Alibaba is a super strong company and I don't think you can go wrong here. So I think that this is poised for a rebound and I plan to make a lot of money off of this trade. I mean, if we head on over to Webull to take a look at the chart for Alibaba and real quick, Webull is currently running a stellar promotion where you can get two free stocks worth up to $1,600 but wait, there's more on top of that. If you refer Weeble to your friends, if you refer to three friends, you will get an additional 15 free stocks valued anywhere from $6 to $1,600. So that is potentially a lot of money that you can get. In order to get that promotion, you have to click on the links that I am providing in the video description down below. But if you look at the three month chart from Alibaba, you can see that the stock was over $300 and then it dropped down to close to $250 and it's starting to rebound. Just look at this chart and you can see the potential reward for a great company right now. And based on the analyst ratings for this stock, and this is based off of 49 analysts, it's not a low number, 49 is a good number of analysts. 
but you can see that the average price target for analysts is $338, the high is $393, and the low is $220. So I am loving the risk to reward ratio right now for Alibaba, and I think it's a very strong company and is positioned well for the future. So I am an absolute buyer at today's prices for sure. So that pretty much wraps it up for the trades that I entered into last week. Let's talk about the trades that I entered into this week. Let's talk about what I believe to be the top five stocks to buy right now. To start off, let's talk about the loser, CVS. Ticker symbol, CVS. Makes it really easy to remember. Now this is traded on the New York Stock Exchange and the current share price is $66.39. But if you look at the five day chart, you can see that CVS had a big drop. Now, the reason why CVS dropped so much is because Amazon opened up their Amazon pharmacy, and that is a threat to CVS. However, I think CVS is diversified enough because of their acquisition of Aetna, and I think that CVS is poised for growth in the future. CVS has something that Amazon Pharmacy does not have, and that is a physical location where they are conducting testing for the illness and they are going to be deploying the vaccine for the illness i have to say illness because youtube will demonetize my video if i say the magic word but you get my point there is a huge potential here for cvs it is going to drive up revenue it's going to increase foot traffic into the store and also cvs is diversified because of their acquisition with etna so i think that this is a strong company that is undervalued and i think it's poised for a rebound and it's going to increase in share price make this a great swing trade in my personal opinion now cvs has an analyst rating of buy based on 28 analysts now the low price target for cvs is 66 dollars which is pretty much where we're at right now however the high is 102 dollars and the average is 82 dollars so you can see why I like the risk reward ratio here. Analysts think it's undervalued and it's a buy rating. I think it's undervalued for all the reasons that I just stated before. I think this stock is poised for a bounce back and that is why I'm swing trading CBS. The next stock that I think is a great buy right now is Lowe's, ticker symbol LOW on the New York Stock Exchange. The current share price for this stock is $149.93. And it had a pretty big drop this week because it had earnings. Now the earnings for Lowe's were actually pretty good. However, they were just short of analyst estimates. And that is why we saw a drop in the share price. But I think Lowe's is positioned very well for the current climate. I am very bullish on home improvement through the next 12 to 18 months. And I think that Lowe's is going to continue to see an uptick in same store sales and also on their online platform. So I think that Lowe's is positioned very well for a rebound, a bounce back, and that is why I'm swing trading this stock. And if we look at the analyst ratings for Lowe's, we can see that it is a buy with 31 analysts. The low price target based on these analysts is $155. The average, $184. The high, $202. Now we're currently sitting at around $150, which is less than the low price target for Lowe's. So analysts think that it's undervalued and that you should buy the stock. I believe that to be true as well. Now I think that Lowe's is positioned for a bounce back up to around $170, and that would be a quick bounce back for a quick return on your money, making it a great stock to swing trade in my personal opinion. The next stock that I think is a great buy right now is Callaway Golf, ticker symbol ELY, on the New York Stock Exchange. The current share price for this company is $18.76. Now, Callaway Golf over the last five days has seen a great increase in share price. Over the last five days, they are up 11.88%. However, I was able to get into this swing trade before that big boost. I bought Callaway Golf on November 13th at $17.20 a share, and I am up close to 9% off of this swing trade for a total unrealized gains right now of $3,850. Now, the reason why I got into Callaway Golf is because of their acquisition of Top Golf, and there was a buying opportunity after that acquisition. The stock market reacted negatively towards their acquisition of Top Golf, which I think is absolutely wrong. I think this is going to be a great purchase for Callaway because one thing with Callaway is golf. Golf is super popular, it's doing really well right now. 
But once we reopen, Top Golf is going to get a huge boost. Top Golf, I think, is a great business. I think it is a great place to hang out. It's super fun, and I'm extremely bullish on Top Golf moving forward. Now, that is why my time horizon for Callaway Golf is a little bit longer. I think that by 12 to 18 months, we're going to see a great increase in share price. We could be back up past $25 a share. That would be great returns in 12 to 18 months. Now, if we look at the analyst rating for Callaway Golf, and there's only 10 analysts which isn't a large number but it's not a super small number either they are rating it as a buy they have a low price target of $22 an average of $23.55 and a high of $27 I am around $25 for the stock over the next 12 to 18 months and that is why I am investing and trading Callaway Golf the next stock that I think is a great buy right now is Nintendo ticker symbol NTDOY now this stock stock is traded over the OTC. So if you don't have access to OTC or you're not comfortable investing or trading OTC stocks, then do not pick up this company. But I am bullish on Nintendo. The current share price is $66.32. And over the last week, they have an increase of 1.21%. And if you look at the three month chart, you can see that there is upside potential for Nintendo stock at around $70, $72 a share. Now the analyst rating for Nintendo stock, there's only two analysts, so you can't put a bunch of weight behind this analyst rating, is a strong buy at 100%. The low price target, 78.92. The high price target is 86.70. And the stock is currently trading at around $66, which is well below the low price target. Now the reason why I'm bullish on Nintendo stock is because of gaming in general. We are now about to approach a second wave of lockdowns. And Nintendo, I think, is going to perform very well because of these lockdowns. Now, I know it's not a Sony or Microsoft with a new console out in the markets. However, I think that Nintendo has a good fan base and it targets a unique audience. It targets younger populations and also millennials that grew up off of Nintendo. It has a loyal fan base and is actually selling a great numbers of their console. In October, Nintendo sold a record 735,000 Switch consoles. And I, th and I think that they are going to continue to see an uptick in sales because of the second wave of lockdowns and also because of the holiday season. Now, Nintendo is not as popular as Sony or Microsoft. And sometimes it can get left out of the discussion. And that is why we're not seeing a huge uptick in share price. However, because it is lagging Sony and Microsoft, that means that there is a potential upside here that is not realized in those other two companies. And that is why I think it's a good swing trade. I like the risk reward ratio with Nintendo stock. I am bullish on it because of the reasons I just stated. And I don't think it's a bad company. You don't have to worry about Nintendo. They are performing very well. So the downside is limited in my personal opinion. Now the last stock that I think is a great buy right now is McDonald's stock, ticker symbol MCD. Now McDonald's trades on the New York Stock Exchange and the current share price for this stock is $214.09. Over the last week, over the last five days, there hasn't really been any movement. The stock is up 0.34%. Now, over the last three months, the stock is up 2.19%. However, if you look at the chart, you can see that there was a big sell-off, and that is why I'm investing in McDonald's stock. I think that McDonald's will bounce back up to those prior levels at around $225 a share. Now, if we look at the analyst rating for McDonald's stock, it has a buy rating based off of 35 analysts. The low price target is $215, which is a little bit higher than we're at right now because we're at $214. So we're essentially at the low price target, but the high price target for this stock is $272 and the average is $241.62. Now, the reason why I think that McDonald's is a great stock to buy right now is because of that dip, which was unjustified in my personal opinion. Also, looking forward, McDonald's is going to continue to be a great company. Because of a second wave of lockdowns, with restaurants closing, McDonald's as a drive through fast food service is very popular. Anytime I go to McDonald's, there's always a long line there is an uptick in sales. 
And McDonald's is doing really well marketing right now. They had their Travis Scott, they had their J Balvin promotion. They are investing heavily in their digital platform. And I like the movement moving forward for McDonald's stock. So with the stock price being cheap right now, in my personal opinion, and management doing the right things to continue growth in a climate that is perfect for McDonald's stock, I think there is a good chance that this stock rebounds and I am loving the risk reward ratio for McDonald's stock. So with all that being said, that wraps it up for the top five stocks to buy right now in my personal opinion. And you can see that the portfolio is performing really well with over $20,000 in gains just over the last five days. Now keep in mind that I post any trade that I make live on the Patreon page. The link is provided below so that you can join. So that pretty much wraps it up for the video guys. I thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you appreciate this content and like the content that I am providing, please consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, and smashing that like button. Also, make sure you ring that bell because then YouTube will notify you when I make new videos so that you can stay in tune with the stock market. Now that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you. And it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing. And together, we are invincible. See ya!